What's going on guys? Vic BP back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this video, we're gonna be talking about my hyperspin drive. So we're gonna take this video today to talk about my current hyperspin drive. Um, this is coming right off of Eugene's 40 terabyte hard drive. Today's date is May 23, 2020. Um, I'm going to be saying the dates anytime I ever update it this way, you know, I do have customers that, you know, want to see videos of the hyperspin drive and all that. So it'll start out with the date. So we are in May 23, 2020, you know, hyperspin is always updatable. I'm always updating mostly right now. Like the biggest thing I always update is the PC games. There's a lot of PC games that come out. I mean, every day there's a brand new PC game. So usually I'm more on top of the PC games. Once more emulators come out, I'll be updating and all that. But on this episode today, I'm going to be showing you exactly Eugene's bar top, which right now accumulated to 40 terabytes. I consider my hyperspin drive a no bullshit, no filler, straight to the point, the main system that you want. Now, here's the thing, though. I'm not saying that you need 40 terabytes. I get people that message me all day and say, hey, Vic, how many terabytes do I need? I want this. I want that. The terabytes depends on what systems you want. Um, just keep in mind, the most current gen stuff needs a lot of data. It needs a lot of hard drive space. For example, the PS3 is eight terabytes alone in ROM. So basically in another video or even during this video, I'm not too sure, but I'm going to basically try to like highlight and show you how much space each individual system is taking up on the hard drive itself. Um, Take this video as basically my current entire list. Eugene's bar top, I mean, he went all out. I'm talking balls to the wall. This guy had no limits. He went all out. I rarely have customers like that. I have a lot of people that do want to be conservative, and I understand that. So understand that I'm here to help. My main objective is to first figure out what systems you want. Enough talking. Let's load up Eugene's computer right now and check out the current Hyperspin build. Now, before anything, um, I actually want to do a live. You're going to see me disappear. I want to show you. I'm going to turn on his computer right now, and you're going to see how fast his computer boots up. Um, it's pretty. It's pretty insane. Uh, I do kind of dedicate it to his M.2 SSD that he has, also his current gen motherboard and his current gen CPU and GPU. All that stuff takes a fact. It takes a toll into the build. So. Keep that in mind. I do have the budget beast. You can see that on Morris's bar top. I did that about a year ago. A lot of people do look at that, but you have to understand that there are different hardware specs in all these computers. Let's do it. Let's load up Eugene's computer. Okay, guys, you can't see it, but I have Eugene's computer here. I'm going to give it a countdown in three, two, one. Here we go. I'm using the screwdriver way until we actually get it into the bar top. But again, just check out how quickly this boots up. Uh, remember, Eugene's build, this is balsa wall. He has current gen stuff, current gen motherboard, CPU, GPU. Um, you know, it's a really good build. And with that, you could see how fast stuff boots. I'm gonna do like a timer on the show, on the, on the premiere, but we're already in. And we're like literally in where I could sit here and I could go through stuff. That is the power of current gen SSDs, this computer again, Eugene, big kudos, bro. This thing is insane. We are literally in it. I didn't even count it, but we're in it. You can tell that Morris's bar top, the budget beast that was running a Dell Optiplex without an SSD. I am a big believer now of like SSDs are needed. So keep that in mind again. You know, I am here to help. I understand people have budgets. Eugene is a very unique person. He went all out, which I respect. Not a lot of people can do that, and I understand that. But people need to understand that you get what you pay for. That's the best way I could say. Okay. So right now we're going to load up my hyperspin. But before that, I just want to load up the file explorer just so you could see how packed this is. Now, I did the math on it, it came out to about 35 terabytes. Let's say a little real quick. So the C drive alone. I have the um, hyperspin file. It's the hyperspin, part of the hyperspin, and two PC games, which consist of uh, Grand Theft Auto V and Mafia Three. Those are brand new, updated stuff. Okay, so the C drive is packed. Out of the one terabyte, 
I don't remember how much the rocket launcher or hyperspin file was, but it was a lot. Now, aside from that, again, I usually leave the C drive as, you know, its main part. That's where the um, Windows stuff is. And also, that's honestly where hyperspin, when it extracts stuff, it goes to that. So as you can see right now, 140 to like 200 gigs, I always leave open as, you know, hyperspin needs to unzip stuff and it needs space for that. The first one up is the SSD four terabytes. As you can see, it's packed to the gills. Then here we have the three uh, Barracuda drives that he has. And as you can see, same thing, packed to the gills. Nine, 18, 27. We're going to count this as 30 ter uh Yeah, this right here alone is 30 terabytes, 35, uh, 36, if you figure that. So it's just shy of 40 terabytes, but to me, it's a 40 terabyte build. Aside from that, we're going to load up right now my rocket launcher file remember you can see the video before where you get bullshit systems check out my rocket launcher file from 400 systems again my hyperspin is the main i feel is the main systems that you want and you need 88 no bs no filler this to me is clean as can be okay so check it out 88 systems on my ultimate drive to figure that now, first on this, I'm going to go through the list. We're going to just go down the list. Let's see what it is. Let's see if we recognize stuff. And then I'll go back, explain the systems on its own. And then we're going to find out how many ROMs in total that there are in my build. I haven't even counted that. I'm kind of excited to see that. Okay. So again, 88 systems. Let's just go down the list. Again, for right now, we're just going to go down the list. Um, I got uh, Eugene's keyboard here. Pretty cool. Nice compact one. It's pretty good, too. So, American Laser Games, the Shmups, we got a couple of Ataris, the Big Fish Games. These are categories for Capcom, Daphne, DOSBox, Frets on Fire. Again, just want to go down the list, and then I'll come back and explain it. Um, we got MAME, we got more DOSBox, uh, Mugen, Nintendos. Check out my Nintendo list. I feel like this is clean as hell. The 3DS, the eShop, N64, the Famicom, the NES, the Game Boy, GameCube again systems that i i know and i'm pretty sure 99 percent of you know and want to play it okay we got the switch virtual boy the wii the wii u the wii where pc games my pc games is a very unique list you'll never find this list ever pinball fx of course we got pinball on this fx2 the sega the uh, model twos the ring edge sony playstation one two three psn the psp the minis Tato Type X, Crackball, Visual, Pinball, Xbox Live Arcade. This right here to me is the most cleanest way. And people know this system. They know all these systems. So that to me, this is my list. And as you can see, it ain't no 400 system. It's no BS, no filler. This is clean. Now let's go back to the top and let's take a look at each individual system and see if you understand what it is and if not i'll go give a, a quick brief kind of breakdown real quick though because the first one is the american laser game most people don't know it i didn't know it at first but apparently this is a um uh, a mame not mame it's an arcade pc that did a lot of guns it was a gun kind of pc that you would find in an arcade cabinet so um i bring this up because unfortunately with the wiimotes the wiimotes doesn't work out as well as i wanted it to and i hoped for the wiimotes i actually i exonated out long story short touch mode software was screwing up a lot of stuff um touch mode is the driver it's a driver that's needed to recognize the wiimote as a mouse and for some reason the touch mode was recognized on my joy to key as players one to four and then the arcade sticks wasn't recognized until player five that would have meant that I had to go into each emulator and change all the systems. It was a nightmare. The only way to bring it right back is to delete the driver, play your system, and then like reinstall the driver. I told you, I said, listen, I'm sorry, man, but right now it's just, it's a headache. Until I get my hands on a Maze Flash bar, maybe it might change. But as of right now, everybody's leaning towards the aim track guns. It's just no driver. There's supposedly no driver to it. So if you do want guns, I would probably highly suggest the aim track. Okay, so first we got the American Laser game. Again, at the end, later on in this video, we'll do a total breakdown on the ROMs. We're just looking at the systems and knowing what they are. The next one is Arcade Schmucks. For my MAM, MAME Arcade, 
Um, no story short, about two years ago, uh, before I did Morris's Bar Top, I cleaned up my main arcade ROMs. There's 9,000 ROMs, which is mostly clones. Um, I'm not going to go into the gist of it. Um, so basically, I had a version of mine that was clean. It was about 2,500 ROMs. All of a sudden, when I was doing Eugene's Bar Top and another person's drive, um, I noticed I was missing some games, key games like Golden Tea and, and uh, a couple of bowling games. So I now fixed up mine where basically I still have my kind of simple ROM list. And then I have the entire ROM list, like all the ROMs. So it's easier to do it that way. As far as MAME, I have a couple of categories to make it easier because going through 9,000 ROMs is a lot. Even going through 2,500 ROMs is a lot. So I do have like the shmups. I have um, the handgun games. I have the trackball games. And I have the driving game kind of separated inside of MAME. So this is a category. You know, I could take the category out, but it's a little bit cleaner. You got your Atari. So again, Atari, luckily, these files are small. Then I'm just checking the camera to make sure I have look, I, I look good. Um, the Atari files are small. Um, honestly, though, the Atari, the graphics, like, yes, these all three play like Centipede, but they are graphically different. So I left it like that. Atari is there. Big Fish Games is new. PC Executables is the, honestly the most frequent up-to-date thing with me. I would always update the PC games because PC games come out every day. Big Fish Games is a really cool game system kind of thing where it's like, to me, it's kind of family and also a little bit of adult. It's kind of like those scavengers. You use the mouse and use the keyboard. So it's pretty cool to have. The Capcoms here are all MAM categories. We're going to skip it. We are not going to count those in our total ROMs, though. Daphne is Daphne. Uh, DOSBox, I have DOSBox and Microsoft DOS. Um, basically, those are old school Microsoft PC programs. Like you could find like Argon Trail or like Mario Teaches Typing. Like, I grew up with those, okay? Driving Games, again, is another um, MAM uh, category. Frets on Fire is new. So cool. So, Frets on Fire is basically Guitar Hero on, like, Roids. Uh, it's frequently updated by a community, and basically it actually uses a keyboard as a guitar. It utilizes the F1 to F5 keys, and you're enter. So, it's actually a guitar. The cool thing, and the reason I added this, is because you could do this as an Xbox guitar controller, so Frets on Fire is new. It's pretty cool. Again, it's like Guitar Hero on the PC. It's nuts. Future Pinball, all the pinball stuff has been updated. Future Pinball, Visual Pinball, has a lot of tables now. Vectrex I left. It's a small file. A lot of my, my older crowd knows Vectrex, and they do request it. Homebrew Man is Homebrew Man. Hypersearch is new. Hypersearch, basically, instead of having all those categories, you go into Hypersearch, and you could search anything you want. If you put... Street Fighter, it will show you the entire, anything that says Street Fighter or is named Street Fighter will show up. And I really like that feature. Hypersearch is cool. Ice Cold Games is a physical thing I would have to show you. It's a kind of a bar game where it's like a stick with a marble and you would like get the marble into the ball. Really cool. I tried it on the joysticks with Eugene's and it's pretty awesome. I like it. Magazines is pretty cool. Retro feel and luckily they're PDF files. So it's like, it uses like four megabytes which is like nothing so that's it here's my main list so mame i have um the original which is the entire rom list um mam extra is my personal kind of edited list and then you have also the four players microsoft dos the xbox 360 we know what that is mugen is kind of mugen and open bore or um mugen and open bore are um systems uh they're kind of um homebrew User created fighting uh, using the control uh, arcade sticks. Pretty cool stuff. The PC engine, the turbo graphics so are there. The 3DS. So, again, what I was saying before, as far as my drive with the filler, I have like, you know, the, J the Japan stuff and the import. So, as you can see here, we have like the import, the import. Okay. N64, N64 Japan. Same thing with the import. The Nintendo DS, the NES, the Game Boy, the Game Boy Color. Here's another one GameCube and GameCube Asia. The imports again. Super Famicom, the Super Game Boy. Again, systems that we all know. The Switch, the Switchware, including the 360 and the PS3, which you'll see later on. I'll discuss that, you know, with the, not issues in a bad way, but things to understand with those. And that'll come later on in videos. Uh, so the Famicom, the Switch, the Wii, the Wii U, WiiWare, uh, Open Board, the PC games. Again, this is my personal list. I always update the PC games. Uh, on this drive, I wanted to do more driving games, so I have a couple more driving games on this. Pinball, Pinball FX. Sammy Amos Wave is a, um, another um, arcade PC thing. 
I forgot what main game that's in. I think I think uh, House of the Dead Two or House of the Dead One is in that. Again, that's a real arcade one that 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 utilizes like the guns and also the joystick. Um, Sega, Sega, Gen- the Genesis, the Dreamcast, Model Two, Model Three, Naomi, Ring Edge. Those are all emulators that sh- uh, are emulating arcade um, PC games that you would find an actual, I should say, an actual arcade game. So, for example, like the Sega Naomi has Marvel vs. Capcom Two. Uh, Sega Ring Edge is Techno Parrot, so that has all the current gen stops. Techno Parrot is such a pain in the ass, though. It keeps updating and changing settings, and it's a little annoying. I have it configured, not fully, but it is what it is. Uh, Triforce is the Mario Kart DX. That's the actual arcade you could find in the arcade, the actual game. Uh, Neo Geo is a um, man category. You got your PlayStations 1, 2, PlayStation Asia, PlayStation 3, uh, PSN, that's really PSN. The minis, the PSP, Tato Type X is another arcade PC. Uh, like it'll, you'll find the Street Fighter 4, the arcade version where you got to put money in it. Type trackball games, Xbox Live, Visual Pinball. Again, to me, this is a clean, as clean can be. I'm very sure you've heard at least 95% of all the systems that I just said. So, like I said, for me, this is a no filler, no BS. Again, Eugene's build he did go all out 40 terabytes is a lot and honestly i even suggested to him that it's a little bit too much but we went with it um again the fillers on my end are at least good fillers not some bs texas instruments shit like you're not gonna find that here um basically my fillers are the imports and the japan systems games and all that so again in my eyes this is the cleanest as clean can be Real quick before we go into each system and get the ROMs, let's load up Hyperspin. And let's just kind of see the wheel. So, using Eugene's keyboard, we're going to go down real quick to the main, which is my... We're going to start with the Arcade Classic. This is my main, okay? Let's do the same thing that we did before. We're just going to hold down. We're there. 10 seconds. Again, 88 systems compared to 410 bullshit filler ones. This, I think, is honestly as easy can be. So again, a couple of new things. Um, I have my list set up like that. Vertical. I do like the way it looks. It's awesome. So real quick, just to show you real quick. So RK Classics, you have all ROMs. I literally have it there. It's the custom logo I made. These are all the ROMs. I'm going to be fixing all the videos, so no worries. This isn't totally done, done. Um, So all ROMs, this is the entire, I think it's 9,000 ROMs. You got the main ROMs. This is my list, apparently. This is my, like, main list. Four player, and again, I have it set up where basically this is all arcade stuff. So the categories, the categories, arcade stuff. Almost like how the other drive was, where he had it set up in categories. You hit Daphne. Once you hit Daphne, everything else is really, like, you know, on its own. Um... Dos Fox, Ice Cold Beer, the pinball stuff. So all the pinballs right here. One, two, three, four. I, that's all I really need. One, two, three, four, five. Five pinballs. Then you get your magazines, and then it kind of goes into the systems. I have all the Nintendos together. Not by consoles. I just have it by Nintendo and by um, alphabetical order on Nintendo, if you think about it. The Wii. Then you got all the Segas. Then you got all the Sony. Fretz on Fire is, you know, on its own. Atari, these are the PCs now. So Big Fish, Pop Cap, PC games. That's it. There you have it. That's like literally to me in my eyes, clean as clean can be. Real quick while I have Hyperspin loaded up, let's take a look at a couple things. So my PC games, I don't do themes. I don't do videos. I just have the logo on this. I think I'm at 187 PC games. And as you can see, Mine, it, it, no, no bullshit, no themes. It takes up too much stuff. Again, I have current titles. And I'm going to do a separate video based on this, but you can kind of see we're already hitting titles that are current. Brand new release. Fury Unleashed was, un, uh, was released last week. Gears 5. Um, Grand Theft Auto 5 just released. Epic Games free. My Grand Theft Auto 5 you could play online. Not all the games can be played online. Please recognize that. There are reasons why to that, but some of them can. 
Um, but as you can see, Jump Force, most things, Mafia 3. Uh, again, I, every day I literally sit and I download brand new games. Moving out, I pick PC games that are arcade friendly, kind of two player friendly, and it has like kind of that nostalgia to it. So, like, moving out is pretty cool. NBA 2K Playgrounds is like the current gen of like NBA Jam. Uh, it's pretty awesome and it's pretty cool. Again, no BS games. People, like, you could literally see I'm slowly going through it. Old school stuff too, Roller Coaster Tycoon. I was a big fan of that growing up. Um, so it's not just arcade button type games. There's a lot of different stuff. Um, Eugene also requested for, uh, he was a big Command and Conquer um, player. Uh, so he said, hey, Vic, can you get a couple of games like that? So I think I have like three or four of them. And you could always do that. You could always ask me if you want anything specific. Let me see if I have it real quick. It's under C. This is in alphabetical order. Thank God. So as you can see, like I have here three of them. One, two, three. There's Command and Conquerors. So he could at least enjoy those and a couple of current ones. Once he told me that, um, that shows me that you're like a, uh, what's the word? I think it's a st strategic uh, game kind of player. So like I tried to look up new strategic games, so like Civilization. This is really cool. This is a new one, Gears Tactics. Um, again, it's, it's gears, but like strategic. So it's pretty cool. Um, again, as you can see, a lot of Grand Theft Autos, main stuff, no filler, no BS. It's, it's all there. And again, I did more racing games. So it's Dirt Rally, Need for Speed Heat, um, Dangerous Driving, a, a lot of stuff. Again, these are games that you will definitely enjoy. Again, I aimed for PC games that you could literally stand and play at your arcade cabinet or enjoy a little bit longer if you want. But as you can see, again, current gen titles. Every day I'm literally looking up new stuff. Breakfast. We're going to do a whole PC thing on its own later on. Okay, guys, so I figure right now since I'm in hyperspin, I might as well show you guys the new feature, which is the hyper search. It's really cool. It's, it's very easy, much easier than going through categories. Uh, basically, you enter into it, you get this kind of keyboard and you search for the game that you want. It will literally search for the title of the game throughout the entire system. So, for example, if we did, like, let's say, Streets of Rage, and you could put, like, Streets of, or you could put the whole thing. I'm just going to put Streets of Rage, Streets of, just to show you. It found 28 games. And you could actually do this with the, the joystick, too. Um, you don't see the joystick, but as you can see the mouse, it is going left and right. I could literally go back to the search and use the keyboard accordingly with the joystick. So again, I do have that set with the joystick. Right now I am using a mouse and a keyboard. You don't need the mouse and keyboard, but we have it on my lap anyway. So as you can see, any any game that had the word Street of in it, it shows it. So we have a future pinball. Uh, we have a couple of the arcade stuff. I'm not a fan of these mega touch, mega plays. They're very annoying. Um, they're there, but whatever. You got a DS one. Look at this. We have a Nintendo GameCube, but this is actually True Crime Streets of LA. We got a Nintendo Switch. We got Open Bore. Uh, and if you look real carefully, we do have my PC game, which is the Streets of Rage 4. Now, yes, the only little downside is like the logos are a little messed up. Um, just keep in mind, though, I have logos that are round. This is a round logo. And these are like your regular square logos. This is why it looks kind of bunched up. But it's not too bad. Basically, again, you just come here and you basically just click on it and it'll give you the option to play. You literally leave it alone and it's going to load up. This right now is a PC executable file, so it is going to load up a PC game. And it right now is loading up Streets of Rage 4. 4. It's very cool. Like I said, it's very clean. I'm going to exit out of this. Boom. And then we're back. So if you do want to go back into hyperspin, you kind of just press enter and it'll bring you back to your last search. Um, you use the escape or button two on the keyboard. Um, for example, like, you know, there was a Simpsons collection. So if I even look up like Sims, you don't have to put the whole word, anything with those letters in it, show it. Um, so you do have a couple of future pinballs. Look, we have a couple of the arcade stuff, bowling, um, the MS DOS. So these again are actual computer games. So uh, we even have what look at the Simpsons game from the Xbox 360. Uh, you got Hit and Run. It's it's awesome stuff. It's really cool. Like I said instead of doing categories, it's just so simple to have this here. So for example, real quick, let's load up some Simpsons Hit and Run on the PlayStation 2. Now check this out. We have Eugene's custom background. I made this for him. Some systems have a big background. Um, some systems don't. Like arcade has its own background, 
but to check it out again fully custom like to the to the t we got the background form and everything so give my real quick playstation 2 and like the gamecube right now hyperspin is unzipping the file um so it's not lightning fast but in all honesty his system compared to like you know hard drives Loading this is going complete. pretty quick very surprised with that and there you have it. We literally have Simpsons Hit and Run PlayStation 2. We're done. We have the exit button on the actual cabinet itself. And you don't have to always use Hyper Search. You could just go back into the arcade. And again, you go back into it. And it's cool. It has video files. It has the picture files. And I think it's just so much cleaner and so much easier. Um, again, you could use the arcade sticks for it. Um, and there you have it. Like, Let's see if we want to do like Metal Slug. 197, oh. so I put anything with the word metal in it. And then you have a look at some sets of fire stuff here going on. Uh, arcade, 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 arcade. We got metal slug, and it's cool. We have it right up top. You can literally see where the, the wheel's from, and so on. There you guys have it, the new feature of HyperSearch. So now, real quick, we can go back into um, our rocket launcher. I'm going to grab my calculator, and we're going to add up each system. So one by one, American laser, see, small, 10. Uh, these we're not gonna count, this will be one entire map. So the 2600 is 644. We got the 5200. We're gonna go through at least 70 systems. So this is 72. Again, I have to do this to show and put it in the, um, in the, the thumbnail. Uh, Atari Jaguar, you got 54. We got Big Fish Games. We got 74. These we're not going to count. That is going to be considered one MAM. MAME. Daphne 17. DOS box, we have to count. That's 748. Frets on Fire. Frets on Fire is a uh, separate kind of things, but there's a bunch of track lists on this. So we're just going to do it as 31. There's really like I would say at least a thousand songs on that. Future Pinball. You got 746. The Vectrex is small. You got 23. Homebrew Mam. You got 356. Hyper Search No. Ice Cold Game is two. Yeah, there's only two. And again, that, that each one will get its own kind of thing. I don't want to count magazines. It's 240. It's not a game, but we'll count it anyway. Uh, let's see the main. This might take a couple. This one is my main, like my main uh, kind of, that's the one that says all, all ROMs. I'm pretty sure I'm going to hit this entire 97763. Nine, all right, guys, we are back. Yes, ma'am had to go and take his time. And as you can see, I mean, I really don't feel comfortable putting this number in, but we're going to do it anyway. It's 955. Seven, nine thousand five hundred ROMs for Mame MS DOS. This is a new one I kind of updated on. Let's see. Woo, five thousand one ninety three, and I think honestly there is like a lot, a lot of classic uh, titles on this. So like I said, if you look at Mario, like you do have like Mario teaches typing, Mario's Time Machine. Those to me are solid games right there. Uh, Xbox 360, let's see. I gotta take out the word Mario. <laughs> Xbox 360, 865. Mugen. 120. PC Engine, 289. Triple Graphics, 94. Okay, next up, we got the Nintendo 3DS. We got 589. We got the eShop. We got 390. We got the eShop import. These are all Japan stuff. 138. We got 3DS import 443. We got the N64. You're at 290. I think I'm missing like uh, Madden files. Yeah, see like the sport ones. I took those out. 
Japan, 141. The DS, 766. Right now, I'm currently at 22,000. The NES, 815. Famicom, 364. The Game Boy, 692. The Game Boy Advance, 1040. Yeah, a lot of these, like, see these two games in one? I didn't bother with it. Xbox, uh, Xbox, Game Boy Color, 535. The GameCube, 508. The GameCube Asia, 103. Pokemon Mini is like 10. 30. And I have those. These are executable. There's 30 on that. The Famicom. Three nine six four, three. Super Game Boy one forty five. The Switch seven five four. Switch Wear eleven fifty eight. Virtual Boy is like ten twenty. Okay, I ran out of space. Thirty two six six seven. Let's keep going. I had press equals. 11.53 on the Wii. These I have. These are unique kind of ways to launch it. I have these though. This is 199. I know I have these. The Wii U Wear. 282. The Wii Wear. 494. Open Board. 217. PC games, this is my personal list. This keeps growing, but currently we are at 201. Pinball FX is one. Pinball Arcade is one. Those are two, those are separate games. That's three. Pop Cap is four. Nope, I'm sorry. That's three for the pinballs, right? Those are actual programs. They have a lot of tables inside of them. I'm not gonna count those tables for now. 49 Pop Cap. Atmos Wave. 24. Scum VM. This is another executable file. I could see later on how many ROMs there are on that. So I'm going to have to do the pinball ROM separate. 34 on the 32X. Sega CD 157. Dreamcast 347. Woo! Getting tired. 259. <laughs> 259 for the Game Gear, the Sega Genesis. 781. Sega Master System. 278. Sega Mega Drive. 117. Sega Model 2. 35. Model 3. 23. Naomi. 141. We got the Ring Edge. 97. The Triforce is like three, four. Not counting that. SN does, we're not going to count that. That's considered main. The Pocket, 40. PlayStation 1. 1337. Leap. PlayStation 2. Nineteen oh two. Holy crap. <laughs> the PS two one fifty eight. That's Asia. PlayStation three. These we have is eight eighty. Long story short, it's red, but it will launch. It's just the way uh, Rocket Launcher sees it. PSN five fifty. PlayStation Mini two ninety four. The PSP. 714. The NES, Super NES, 785. Potato Type X, 25, no, I'm sorry, 20. 
Visual Pinball, 689. And the Xbox Live, 614. Ladies and gentlemen, we hit 45,000. 585. I don't think you're going to see it. Let me show you that. There it is. 45,000 games. <laughs> That's a lot of freaking games. 45,000 games, ladies and gentlemen, on the 40 terabyte. Now, if you think about it, though, in all honesty, if you add, like, we'll take a look real quick. Let me see where my Scum VM is. Uh, it's under my F drive. Scum VM is another kind of Microsoft um, old school games. Let's just see. We have 532. So we just hit 46,000. That's definitely 46,000 there. Um, what else? Pinball. I mean, Pinball FX 2 and 3 is like, let's say, 60 tables. Um, what else? Was I missing anything else? No, that was it. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. 46,000 games on a 40 terabyte drive. And just remember what the other one was. That was like the frets on fire. Um, there's no way to really count that. Uh, let's see if I can find it. So frets on fire. Like let's. So another one, for example, that we didn't really count totally correctly was frets on fire because of the song list. So there's 31 games. We counted the 31, but let's just go into like one. And I think it was under music. Yeah. So frets on so frets on fire was one that we didn't really count correctly, but it's nothing major. There's 31 like executables, but like if we go into one and load up the music, there's 51 tracks. So you know, let's just say an average of like 40 tracks each game. So 40 tracks times there was how many executables? 31. You're at like 1,200 on that. Again, it, it just keeps going up. Uh, figure 47, I'm, I would call it, you're at like 47,000 games, um, which is an insane amount of games for 40 terabytes. Now, real quick, just to go through it, um, I don't know if it's going to go fast, but just real quick, let, oh, there we go, it kind of went fast. So, like, again, this is going to happen like on the website. I'm going to be able to show you, and I'll show you real quick, how much file usage each individual system takes up. So, for example, here, we have the Xbox 360. It literally says there it's six terabytes just for the Xbox 360. The Nintendo Switch, three terabytes just for the Switch. Um, let's see, PlayStation 3. That's the one I want to see. Oh, look, we have more actually Xbox. I have, I have them separated. as two, It's almost 300 gigs. Um, let's just see. Let's keep going. PlayStation 3. This is going to count up. Let's let it rock. Xbox Live Arcade. Same thing. We're going to let that go. 284. Again, gigs add up. Gigs add up to terabytes. So as you can see, again, what we said before, Xbox 360 was 6 terabytes. The Switch was 3 terabytes. PlayStation 3 is still going. And I know it's going to be a lot. <laughs> I know for a fact it's going to be a lot. We're going to let it rock in the background. Um... What else? What else? Uh, this one alone, I mean, these right here are the smaller systems. This is like my original drive. So like in 10 terabytes, right? Because the F drive is 10 terabytes. I'll show you real quick. F drive, 10 terabytes, nine. We're going to round it up to 10 though. 10 terabytes. I have 66 systems within that. Half PC games. Not all my PC games are in this. I put... Most of my PC games under his SSD drive. This way they boot very quickly. Um, so again, at least you could see, you know, some of the main systems, easier, smaller systems, the NES, the Game Boy, you can see it here, like the GameCube. GameCube takes up 484. It's half a, gig, uh, half a terabyte in just GameCube alone. So again, the objective on the website is to list these, put how much data usage it takes up and that's only the ROMs. Remember the media files alone also they do take up a lot a lot of space. 
let's just see real quick if we could load up um, a media file. Let's load up a big one. I know, like, my main, ma'am. Let's just see what that's like. 16 gigs. Just in media. That's video files and all that. I don't know. Maybe I could do a media thing real quick. We're going to let that count. I'm going to have to edit this video a little bit, but we don't need this one anymore. Let's see. I was looking for PlayStation 3. PlayStation 3 is still going. So the entire media file is almost 200 gigs. Almost 200 gigs out of that. So, uh, like, I have my laptop, one terabyte, less the Microsoft information, 200 gigs worth of media. Again, all this stuff adds up. I made the call. It, you need one terabyte alone for the emulators and hyperspin background alone. So figure the minimum on my end will be like a two or a three terabyte. Um, I'm right now waiting for this to go, but uh, I'll probably edit this to the end of it. Okay guys, so after that time, it is seven terabytes alone just for the PlayStation 3. So again, keep in mind each system, it takes up space. Automatically, if you said to me, hey, Vic, I want PlayStation 3 and uh, Xbox 360, you're already in the 7, 4, you need 15 terabytes alone just for those two systems. So keep that in mind. So there you guys have it. My Hyperspin drive, 40 terabytes. This is Eugene's personal, outstanding, insane PC build I've ever come across. And there you have it, Vic VP Game Case Arcade.